Hi everybody, um, I'd like to introduce you today to uh, a new little plugin I just put together um, to release as a companion plugin to my carousel module. Uh, many of you might have seen in the past that you know, the power of the, um, the slick carousel module that I've created for Divi and Extra. Um, and um, I don't know if you know, but of late I've added three or four different modules for it. Um, one of which uh, follows my popular loop archive module model, where um, a uh, module can take another uh, layout as a, a child and repeat it again and again. Um, I'll show you that um, and how, how I've actually uh, used it in uh, this new plugin that I'd like to release which is um, <laughs> a work in progress in terms of the name, but it's likely to stay the same, the Divi Testimonial Slider slash Carousel module. Now, um, it is in itself a companion, so it all it does is adds um, a custom post type to your site um, and acts as a... Um, as a go between uh, between the uh, post type and the slick carousel module, so they shall be released together as a bundle, because uh, you will need both plugins in order to make this work. However, if you know how custom post types work, um, by all means, go ahead and use this video as an example or a tutorial to enable you to create your own um, post type, and, and then you won't need the other plugin. Uh, so uh, I'm assuming you have a copy of Slick Carousel module, although of course it will be released at the same time. Uh, and what I'd like to do uh, is show you um, a page I created, just a very simple page, it only took me a few minutes, um, which shows um, a, this is a carousel, um, showing two, <coughs> um, two testimonials at a time, uh, and each time it loops, it loops one of them. Now you can fully configure this uh, as per the normal slick um, carousel options. So you can have this showing one, uh, you can have it showing two, three, four, as many as you like really. Um, and each time it moves, you can have it moving as many as you like. So each one of these uh, is an item in the testimonials post type that this, this first plugin creates. So we have testimonials up here. Mm. I also have added a, um, added a, um, a, a category, a taxonomy to go with it, um, and in case you wanted to use that at any point. Each testimonial has, um, has simply, at the moment, a title and a body, although um, I will, in the very short future, release uh, things like the author name, the company name. We have the ability to add an image here, so you can do that as well, although I haven't done it in the example. Um, I'll do things like rating systems. Uh, the idea of this, though, it is a, it's a gateway into showing you how to create testimonials um, and put, put them on your site. Now, the you, you might ask why I'm not using the standard testimonials module that comes with Divi. Um, uh, the reason for that is that you can only use that once, or rather you can only put it on one page. So we have a testimonial here. Um, and But if I put a testimonial on this page, it's then not stored anywhere centrally to enable me to use that elsewhere. So, for instance, if I'd like a testimonials page, which shows all of my testimonials, and I'd like to include relevant testimonials on different service pages, for instance, um, then I'd have to enter those all manually, and it's a bit of a nightmare to maintain. Whereas, using this post type method here, um, all testimonials are central, and then each time we want to show a slider on the page, uh, we simply have to add the module, um, and it will then automatically pull uh, the data from the post type. So you only have to you maintain it in one place, uh, and then you, these simply deal with the layout. So I've added my uh, slick loop archive module. Now this comes with the slick slider uh, carousel plugin already, um, and if I open it up, the first thing you'll see is a, what I call a loop layout. Now this layout is repeated for every single testimonial that's seen. So the version in my example shows two, um, and then that therefore the layout is used twice. So my testimonial item layout, let's go and have a look at it. So in the Divi library, you shall see here, we've added a layout, it's non-global, it's just a single row, with a, with a section, um, and it's just two modules. Now these two uh, modules, custom modules, come with um, the uh, Slick Carousel plugin already anyway. 
um, and these will show the title and the content of the testimonial that you're looking at. So if I click on the, uh, the, the um, burger menu thing there for the title, it's a pretty common thing. I'm going to be adding um, a few more options to this in the next couple of days, but uh, by the time anybody gets it, then this should be a bit better. Um, but it, it has no real usable options that you need because it simply shows a heading tag with the title of the post, in this case, testimonial. Um, that would be this here, Annoyed Purchaser, Sean Barton. That's the title. Now, by default, that's quite large, so I've used the Advanced Design Settings to bring the heading font size down to 16. Out of the box, I think that's 30. Um, use it however you like. That's what it's designed for. There's quite a lot of options here for padding, styling, <coughs> anything else. We've also got the ability to add custom CSS. If they are, um, if they have dates associated, you can click on Show Meta if you wanted to and show a bit more information about each one. But that's more designed for if, if you're using it for blog posts rather than testimonials. Um, so that's that module. And the content module here is, again, by setting the excerpt only to no, we're effectively showing the full testimonial, all this. If I were to set that to yes, it would show the normal testimonial length with the dot dot dots, um, and we can make it create a link by clicking on show read more. So each of these would have a find out more link next to them or whatever you wanted, read full testimonial. So you could in fact use this for case studies if you wanted to, call it a case study slider. Um, it, each one could have a, a short excerpt, an image, and then a click through link to wherever you're gonna go. Um, that's the beauty of the, uh, the Slick Carousel plugin is that it will enable you to do that using this method. Now you can use any column layout you want here. I'd recommend, because, because at the moment, because we're using 50-50 to go to maybe two columns max if you want to, um, but that could be a one-third, two-third um, layout where you show an image of the testimonial poster and then their information next to it anything you like. In this case, what I've done is, um, because it's a simple example, I've used the section module and I've just set a very light transparency, uh, set very light transparent black on the back as a background just to give it a border. And I've added 20 pixels of all round padding. Now, if you want it on a white background or a transparent background, just don't add the padding and don't change the background color and they'll, they'll flow as normal. Um, so that is the loop layout. Now, the individual um, uh, the loop archive module itself is on my testimonials page here that I've just put together quickly. It took about two minutes to make this page, so really, really is quite easy. This is the only module you need to use. Um, you could use this in conjunction with um, Divi Layout Injector to have it in the footer of your site and just, just flicking through all your testimonials. Um, you could use it in a sidebar if you wanted to or anywhere else just to create these really nice features of sliding text and sliding imagery. Um, they're not confined or limited to testimonials or anything else. The whole point of this um, loop archive is in fact that you tell it which post type you want to use. In post type here, and I've got uh, product, projects, post pages, etc. So if you wanted it to be a carousel of the most recent blog posts, then just choose posts or projects, etc. So there's a lot you can do with it. It really is a, a, a powerful sort of system, this loop archive uh, module. Now, to the loop layout I've created previously, I've come in and I just choose it from the drop down here of layouts that I've got available to me. The post type, I'm going to choose testimonials, obviously, because I want testimonials. Um, I've chosen it, chosen it for, for it to limit to 10. This is simply because um, if I wanted to show all of them, then there's no real point in loading, you know, a hundred testimonials to only show two or three, uh, because most people are only really going to stay on that page for a short period of time. So this will show the most recent ten, um, and obviously you can have a, a testimonials page uh, as part of the um, the post type. So just go to forward slash testimonials. That page will be there for you. Uh, you can style that with CPT injector. Uh, and then there's a testimonial category page if you wanted to take it even further. But most people, in my experience, just tend to have a testimonial slider or, or grid on one page, uh, on individual pages, and then a testimonial page to show them all. So that uh, allows you to do that. Uh, the offset is just how many you want to ignore. The first couple, for instance, but that's that's intended for other things. Because don't forget, this is the slick slider, not the testimonial theme. And including the taxonomy, um, would, if you wanted to limit by testimonial category, you put the name of the testimonial category in there, which I think I set to testimonial underscore cat. 
Um, and then taxonomy terms would be the slug of the testimonial category that you wanted to show. So if you wanted to include this on service pages and you had two or three services, you might add a testimonial uh, category for each service, copy the slug into there, and then this, this uh, particular instance of the um, slider slash carousel would, would only show that information. So yeah, it's quite a handy little set of quite a, a, a large option set really for quite a, a smallish feature, but it's really nice. Um, arrows uh, and dots, um, if you turn them on, the arrows are at the side and you have the option to change the color um, in the module and the dots are below. Um, you can have them turned off, although dots and arrow dots and or arrows do give your users an indication that something is going to move or change so they can click it and navigate around. But turn them off if you like, choose the colour um, accordingly. I've just chosen one of the default blues for now. The rest of the options are default for the slick carousel slider, so go nuts and have a play with them. I set autoplay to yes and autoplay speed to 2500, so two and a half seconds, just to show people that they do loop through. Um, slides to show two, slides to show, show one to scroll one. So I'm showing two slides in my full full width container and each time it slides this disappointed one will move here if I click this. There you go it's moved one which is a really nice little feature. Also you can have it hover and uh, pausing when you hover so if you want to read it a bit more hover over it and it won't then um, move after the two and a half seconds are up. Loads more options there to play with but uh, uh, you can have a play with those um, as and when you like. Um, I hope that this video has been instructional for you. Um, do let me know if you'd like to see any features added to this. Like I say, it's a companion plugin, so it's something which will be uh, released at a very, very low cost indeed. It'll be extended quite extensively, and it will come bundled with the Slick Carousel plugin. So this really is the, the only plugin that you're going to need in order to do your, uh, your testimonials um, which will um, it will also come with uh, a full license for the carousel um, um, plugin also so you can use that for WooCommerce, easy digital downloads, you can create your own um, uh, carousels and sliders using it quite a nice little plugin um, it's been very popular over the last sort of 9-12 months that it's been out uh, so um, I'll release a separate video showing exactly how to use that shortly but for now I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, do let me know if you've got any questions thank you very much